Hi. So, I just um, allow me to share with you the word that I have for you today is from Psalms nineteen thirteen. Keep lack, uh, keep back thy servant. Also from presumptuous sins, let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. That is again, Psalms 1913. Uh, Heavenly Father, we pray that you would just keep us in our hearts, keep us in our minds. Lord God, convicted of whatever sins that we have, Lord, and let us not presume that they are sins. And God, I ask that you would forgive each one of us in the way that you can. Only forgive us for our sins. You can do more than that. And so God, we presume not, but keep back thy servant, Lord God, that they will be able to uh, withstand the test and the trials. Lord God, that they will be able to withstand the darts of the fiery one. Heavenly Father, that you would protect them and keep them in their ways. Jesus, that their prayers will be answered because they are upright and they shall be upright. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So you guys, I just wanted to tell you, don't presume that everything is a sin. Don't always talk about sin because you presume that everything is that. And I'm begging of you, don't. Just remember that you're free from the, the grip of sin and death. And it has no hold on you. You are free. You are he whom the son says free is free indeed. You are liberally free. You are conventionally free. You are substantially free. You are inadequately free. You are crazily free. You are so free. You're free in your heart today. You're free in your mind because he remains the same. You can count on Jesus and says, I am not afraid to call upon the name of the Lord that I shall be saved. Because the Bible teaches me that in the last days, all of those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So Heavenly Father, today we just call upon your name. We thank you for filling us up each hour. Lord God, every moment that we spend with you, Jesus, just magnify in your name. Heavenly Father, let it have a work in our lives. Lord God, let your name reign supreme over our thoughts. Lord God, let nothing have dominion over us. Jesus, I ask that you would give us the energy and the strength that we need to get up. Put our houses in order, Lord God. Begin to see clearly, Lord God, and seek your kingdom that we would know the riches of your glory, Lord God. Fill us from the tops of our heads, Lord God, to the soles of our feet in Jesus' name. And I praise you for what you do. And I will give you every bit of me, Heavenly Father, yielding to your voice and taking note of whatever it is that you would have me to do today. God, I will do the daily work that you call on me to do. Lord God, and I thank you and I praise you in advance because I know that the work that you have for me is the work that is needed. Lord God, this is a requirement of me. It will take me where I need to go. It will give me what I need to have. And it will bless me in ways that nobody has ever been blessed. Lord God, because you are the God who saves. Jesus, I thank you that you have in reluctantly saved us from ourselves. Lord God, thank you for every mission being in remission to you. Lord God, that reconciliation is now become available to us. And through Jesus' name, through Jesus Every devil in hell will leave you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, and that we will remain in abiding in Psalms 91. Heavenly Father, that we will stay under your opinions, Lord God, and that you would keep on keeping on. Lord God, we thank you for your ordinance. 
Lord God, we thank you for things that are predestined and preordained by your word. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, in the kingdom of God shall reign supreme over the dominion of devils and demons. In Jesus' name, every one of them will flee. And today you shall see a better victory because we have the victory in Christ. I pray in Jesus' name, amen.